Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to Korean Atlanta Mentorship. So in this video, I think I'm going to maybe declare a new catchphrase. It doesn't really make sense, but it sounds catchy. And that catchphrase is, credit is the gift that keeps on giving because I'm just getting more and more in oodles of credit, right? So today I asked for a credit line increase request granted by $1,000. So now I got a $20,000 credit line, aka credit card. And if we scroll down a couple of days ago in my community feed, uh, I got a new business credit card for 9500 Again, I don't even know if this catchphrase makes sense, but credit is the gift that keeps on giving. Right? So let me go ahead and uh, show you what my credit, uh, I guess, portfolio. I don't even know if that's the right word is, but all the credit that I got. And this is the personal Discover card, 20 grand. It was 19 grand, it was, now it's 20 grand. And now if I sum all this up, right, I got business credit cards, personal credit cards, personal lines of credit, it equals up to $527,000 in credit limits. We're almost at 528,000. We're off by, oh, I don't even know what's happening, I'm burping. We're off by $60 to get to $528,000, right? And I'm gonna tell, repeat the secret that I've been telling you Throughout all these videos, especially the velocity banking videos, how we get the the, uh, the high credit limits, and the secret. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the secret, and this is what something that most people understand because it it requires a shift in the average person's mindset. Okay, and how to deal with banks. So here's the secret: banks don't lend money to people who need it. Okay. Right. So if you've ever lent money to other people and you probably lent your friends or family money and they kind of begged and pleaded for it. Right. They probably like, like oh, my goodness, uh, I need the money because of X, Y and Z. Right. And you probably lent them a couple grand, you know, one to three grand. And guess what happened? You probably lost that money and they didn't pay you back. Right. And the banks know this. They're really smart because they have all the data in the world. You know, the credit bureaus, you know, one of the reasons why they were formed is because one person can can buy something on credit in one town back in the day before, you know, everything was in computers. And then, and then you know, like they, they say, oh, yeah, I'll pay you 30 days later. Right. And then what would happen is they'd be a deadbeat and skip town and, and go to the other town and to do the same thing over and over again, which is why they built the credit bureaus, because they want to be able to make money in their lending business, but they just don't want to have to deal with deadbeats. And one of the things they figured out over the years is that they should not lend money to people who need it because this has probably happened to you. It has certainly happened to me, right? Where I lent money to people who needed it and they didn't pay me back. And I don't know what business you're in, but I'm not in the business to lose money, okay? So what we want to do is we want to be attractive borrowers to the banks, okay? So that we can get as much... Uh, credit as possible. Now, now, don't get me wrong. They're in the business to make money, but we are not in the business to, you know, take all of our money. You know what I'm saying? So, um, if you ever take a look at 30-year mortgage schedule for, let's say, an investment property, they're going to make up at least like a hundred, I don't know, fifty percent for 30 years. Okay, but if we know things like velocity banking, instead of paying three hundred twenty-eight thousand dollars of interest, we're only going to pay like twenty-seven grand. But the, but there's a reason why they only lend to certain types of people is because they're not in the business to lose money, right? And that's the secret. So you got to look like uh, a borrow that is going to make them look like they're going to make money off of you. But hey, if you know things like velocity banking, you know, you be attractive to them, but you don't let them take advantage of you, right? And there's two, you know, some people might be asking, okay, like, why do you have all this credit, right? And I'm going to tell you why I have all this credit is, number one, easy cash flow management. I'm gonna, I don't know if you knew this or not, but rental properties, the cash flow is unpredictable. So if you think you get $100 to $400 of cash flow a month, guess what? Your HVAC system or your roof goes out or maybe it's actually 20 years old and it's functional for two years and you didn't negotiate well like I did, you have to pay ten grand for a new roof. But guess what? If I got a 24 grand business credit card, 24 grand a business credit card, okay, then that 10 grand roof is not, not going to be a, a, a problem to your cash flow. 
it's not going to be a problem to your cash flow, right? So number one, why do we have all this credit is cash flow management, okay? You know, let's say let's say you're one of those people that I know who I'm encouraging people that, hey, you have to understand the secret to credit and only has one credit card, like 10 grand, even though you make a ton of money. Guess what happens when you do rental properties and your roof or, or whatever goes out and you only have one 10 grand card? Well, you, you're in a you're in a pinch, right? Whereas you have 500 and I don't know how much I even have. Sometimes I can't remember. $27,000 in lines of credit. You get one uh, rental property with a 10 grand uh, bill in it because you got to replace the roof. Not a problem because you manage the cash flow, right? Easy cash flow management. You dump all your money into the credit card. You do velocity banking. You're good. Okay, number two is easy access to opportunities, okay? And you know what the, the cool thing about the bank's money is? It's drama-free money. It's drama-free. This is why I don't do partnerships, right? Like, you ever try to, like, do uh, money with other people? I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but, like, kind of do partnerships with other people and there's always some sort of drama involved? Well, if I want money... And it's not my money. Well, the bank has the infrastructure so that I can go to their website, click a button, and then I got $280,000 in my checking account, right? So think about this. Let's say you got a good real estate deal. And again, it has to be an actual deal, but a good real estate deal where all you needed was maybe $40,000 down and you could make a $60,000 profit, right? So forty k down, $60,000 profit, maybe after like uh, three years, not three years, three months, okay? Well, here's the cool thing. Easy access to opportunities. If I have a $280,000 line of credit and I click that button, 40 grand, and I send it over a wire transfer to to the, the title company, and I know because I got oodles and oodles of lines of credit to do pay contractors, buy for materials, I don't have to borrow money from hard money lenders, or maybe I will for if, the, if this is just only the down payment, right? But I don't have to partner with people where it's like oh well this 60k profit now magically became 30k because we got to do a 50 50 split right because even with the 60k profit even though i'm borrowing money at eight percent it's not going to it's going to be factored into the deal you see what i'm saying but most people okay they don't understand the the credit game okay they don't understand the credit game and that's why a lot of you are all struggling Okay, not everybody's like this because I see in the comments, okay? I see in the comments people saying exactly what I'm saying, which is that banks don't lend money to people who need it. But for a lot of you all who are new to this channel and learning the concepts about banking and credit, virtual, not virtual banking, velocity banking and all that, you all treat banks like they're restaurants and they are not restaurants, okay? Banks don't lend money to people who need it, right? Like, it's not like a restaurant where, hey, I go to a restaurant because I'm hungry. Hey, I go to a bank because I need money. No, 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 no. They will never lend to you, okay? Because the bank's best customer is someone who makes money. It's not poor people because that's what those – um, uh, what, what do you call it? Those poor um, check-to-cash places are for. That That's their demographic. But the banks, they want to lend to people who have money and are kind of bad at managing it, right? That's their prime demographic. Kind of like pharmaceutical companies. Pharmaceutical companies don't want to uh, give pills to people who are going to die tomorrow who are really sick. Because how do you keep make, you know selling pills? You can't, right? So what's their best demographic is people who are healthy but kind of stupid. And that's why children are their main demographic. And I'm not saying that children are stupid, but we kind of teach children to be stupid in our society. But they're healthy, but they're the best demographic for that industry. Just like with the bank, hey... It's actually not poor people who are the best demographic. It's kind of rich people who are kind of stupid, right? So that's why they don't lend money to people who need it, and that's where they make all their money from, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. And let me go back to the other screen before I end today's call or today's uh, video. <laughs> so again, uh, I don't know if this catchphrase makes sense, but credit is the gift that keeps on giving. It's the gift that keeps on giving, and bam, 20 grand easy access to $527,000 in lines of credit. And one day it'll be a million. I know it will. You know what I mean? Like it's going to be a million because I've seen new opportunities. I don't know if you knew about this, but excuse me. I was doing searches on something called a business equity line of credit. Now I know that we have home equity lines of credit on the personal side, but I have over $150,000 in equity 
in my uh, rental property, just one rental property, 150000 So I looked up business equity line of credit, and I was like, whoa, <laughs> I think I, I've got to try this out, right? i got to try this out and see how it works out. But, man, it's good times right here. Okay, so, yeah, this is um, Korean Atlanta Mentorship. Again, easy access to $527,000 in lines of credit. So that's just unbelievable, right? Unbelievable. So, all right. Well, that's it for today. Have a great day, and we'll speak next time.